All right, we're back at it. Let's look at some cringe. <laughs> This dude really made this and thought he did something. This looks like me licking the bowl of dessert to get the last bit. If your crush sent this to you, doesn't matter the gender, how would you respond to this? I'd personally just block them and send it to their parents. And this dude is about to reveal himself as a transformer when he's popping his shoulders here. <laughs> as well, this is, this is a fully grown man doing this. He has been watching too much Gen Z videos, and he thought, yeah, this is it. This will get me famous. Licking the screen, implying you know what. <laughs> All right, moving on from that. Bro, what what did I even just see there? Do you know what? I took a break from this. I'm I'm done. I'm not dealing with this. See you later, guys. I'm gonna go find a hole and just die. <laughs> like, why would you post this? I mean, that's not a boyfriend right there. That is literally a parasite you got there. This dude is hungry. I mean, as well, I just like how there's a nice little ring emoji there, implying you're gonna marry him and it's love. I mean, I don't know what this is. But it is way off. I know we all do cringy stuff when we're younger and we might when we might be in relationships, but I don't know where you learn to do this, but never do this. <laughs> wow. I don't think personally it can get much worse than this, but yeah, let's have a look. These are the type of people who didn't go outside enough when they were younger. I mean, yeah, there's nothing like making a first trap TikTok as a creepy teacher. I mean, obviously, I don't want to see comments on this dude's body. We ain't about body shaming around here, but damn, that is one creepy smile. It's giving me the ick just looking at it. If this is satire, which it isn't, <laughs> it's cringe. Normally, it's a weird PE teacher, but this dude, I don't know what he would be teaching, but just get him out of here. My God. Right, welcome back, everybody. I took a break. The cringe became too much, and I just needed to take a break. Got a lot of nice comments wishing me well, so that was nice from you all. I really, it was really reassuring, so thanks, guys. I actually really did appreciate it. But let's start up again by looking at what made me want to take a break. Good old delicious cringe. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out, and you can be part of the Game of Virgin Army. Hope you all enjoy the video. Let's go. Hey. Will you go on a date with me February the 14th? Um, yeah. Dad, you're not gonna believe it. What, son? I'm taking the baddest girl on a date February the 14th. You can't look like that on a date. This has got to go. Now I gotta take a shower. Ashton, you look so good. I just want to impress you. I mean, let's be real here. I know people like to imagine scenarios with them being with their crush or whatever, but this dude really wrote down a script and made a TikTok with himself saying, I'm taking the baddest girl on a date. <laughs> and then kind of unironically said he looked bad, so he needed to improve, but came back with hair looking like greasy chicken noodles dipped in hoisin sauce. No offense, dude. I don't look great, but I don't make stuff like this. If I had to rate this, I'd rate it minus 100 James Charles, which isn't great if anyone's wondering on how I scale things of good to bad. Nice, nice. I love these type of videos because it's got people like this absolute chad thinking girls are going to be impressed by this. He really got them to act impressed. He's just in a shop working his fingers out. Yeah, we all know what he's doing, but damn, bro, at least get some wet floor signs put out because you're going to just ruin this shop because of the water damage. <laughs> if I was this dude, I'd put myself in the bin. If I was these girls, I'd, I'd just be disappointed because you have to have the IQ of a chimp to be impressed by this. He's a sweetie, mm, kiss it when he eat it, ay, yeah, know it's good when he chewing, ay, singing, I love you with conversation and 
bro, what do I, what do I even say? What can I say? Like, what, what is going on here? I, I did, I did not enjoy looking at whatever that was meant to be. What, what does I even say? When people hate on your relationship because of the 37 year age gap? Damn. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> this is a post from a, something in Africa archives. Did you know African women could see, hear, and smell over 3.5 miles away? But after they were made captives, Europeans' diet dulled their senses. I mean, would that really be that good that you can smell? Like, I mean, everything within a 3.5 mile radius. You'd just be able to smell every person's fart without your control of being able to stop it. You'd be like, oh, <laughs> like someone farted over there, guys. And I don't, <laughs> what are we even talking about? What is this? <laughs> this is so stupid. This, this isn't real. Shut up. Name a more iconic trio than the Dream Team. I'll be waiting forever since it's impossible. I know you can't. Honestly, nobody on the planet is more recognizable than these three. I literally don't know who the two people on the left and right are. I know Dream is obviously the one in the middle. That's about it. I'm not even joking. I have no idea who the other two people are. I mean, surely a more recognizable trio and iconic would be Jacksepticeye, PewDiePie, and Markiplier. I mean, am, am I wrong in saying that? Because I still, I have no idea who the two people on the left and right are. But the funny thing is, is they, <laughs> they disabled the replies. You cannot name anyone more iconic, and if you attempt, you're embarrassing yourself and are factually wrong. If I could disable quotes, I would. Oh boy, get in the bin. Male brains are developmentally delayed in comparison to females according to science. Well, I can't really say she needs to get out more because she kind of already is outside and she's being weird outside. I mean, <laughs> I don't really know what this argument was meant to really prove, but you didn't really do a very good job. Yeah, this was this was just a weird video. I mean, I don't really know what the kind of screech was at the end there, but she walked off okay, so yeah, we'll leave it at that. We've got a poster here for someone who wants a roommate. Single male, 44, searching for roommate. Must be female aged 18 to 25 and single. Must be willing to cook and clean. Bro, what what era is this guy living in that you're expecting women to be like that? <laughs> One bedroom apartment. You can use the couch until you are comfortable enough to share the bedroom. Bro, th this isn't a relationship. You're looking for a roommate. No pets, no drinking, no spaghetti, and no male friends allowed. Oh, we've got a really insecure, weird dude here, I'm guessing. My home has a no closed doors policy. This is for safety. $400 a month, call Owen. Wow, Owen sounds like a great guy. If anyone's looking for a room, you can call Owen because he sounds like a great guy. Right, that is going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully, I'm going to ease back into making videos and just generally enjoy what I'm making. And hopefully, you guys enjoy it too. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment what you think about some of these videos as I love to read them. I hope to see you all soon. See you later.